Hi, good evening, everyone. Okay, let me inform in the group that we have started this session. All right, so let's get started the session. Okay, yesterday as expected, there are 130 members. Today, I think uh, we'll be reaching 60 or 75. Day after, we'll be reaching 35, 45. <laughs> How Okay, um, so people, uh, anybody have any questions from the assignment I have posted in the group? I have asked you to create a, a program for uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. All that you have to uh, declare two variables and uh, you have to show the output for subtraction, multiplication, division. Anybody have questions? Anybody don't get the desired output? From the assignment I have shared. There are no questions. Okay. If nobody have any questions, we straight away get into the and another topic today. So let me share my screen. So the today's topic, right? Uh, so yesterday, actually, some one of you asked like. Uh, Ashok, you are creating the class, sorry, you are creating, uh, we are entering the programs in the anonymous window, but will it be able to save? Obviously, we cannot save the program which we have entered in the anonymous window. But what is the alternate option? Every time I cannot uh, go and uh, write a script in the anonymous window and execute, right? To be honest, in in practical uh, thing, this is won't work it out. Assume that you are uh, writing a script uh, to execute something. You are writing a trigger, right? You cannot write a trigger in anonymous window itself. You have to write a script and also you have to save it somewhere. Then only you can use it then and there. Today, we are going to see how to save the script which I'm using and I want to use it whenever I am I need it. To do that, let me start with the same example which we were using yesterday. Let me open my anonymous window. In anonymous window, I'm just going to declare hmm. an x equal to 10. <laughs> Guys, please put yourself on mute. Integer equal to 20. Okay, I'm still getting a noise. So Monica, Priyanka. Krishna, Kishore, please put yourself on mute. All right. So, and I have going to declare Z simple. Z equal to X plus Y system dot debug the sum of X plus Y. Guys, please put yourself on mute, guys. Is it? And if I execute, okay, unexpected token. So, what is the error, guys? That comma quotation. quotation. Single code is missing. Single code. Right. So, copyation is missing. Text needs right. to be in the quotation. Single code. Single code. Text. Thanks. So, let me execute this. So, I think this program is working and I'm going to get an output here, right? So, this is the output. So, this is what we have seen yesterday till. But the question now is Ashok, suppose if I delete this from here, right and if i still open i'm not able to retry my code and similarly every time whenever i write a code i have to come and execute in anonymous window right uh, but i don't want to do that i want to yes. save my script in the developer console itself yes we have option the option is very simple go to file click on new and click on apex class 
it will create a new apex class you can give a name for the apex class so from here we are going to start uh, some naming conventions and also some best practices we are going to follow if you are going to name any apex class don't use any keywords keywords like integer and don't use any objects objects name like account contact don't use any name if you create so that will create a conflict maybe if i create try to create a class with the name integer it says what reserved reserved in the sense this is a keyword and you cannot use this okay there are many uh, reserved keywords uh, available in uh, salesforce so you will come to know about that one by one or you can just google it what are the reserved keywords available okay so simple go to new apex class let me create calculator so try to have the first name in the capital letter and create a class called calculator simple the step is very simple people py new and apex class so let me capture this like yesterday i'm going to post the steps here and screenshots you can use it okay so i have created a apex class called calculator it's you see there is a word called public okay so ashok what is this public what is this class and what is this calculator okay let's define these terms here the public the public represents access modifiers these are the terms we are going to learn new today so please listen carefully i tell you what all these i'm not going to deep dive but still let me help you this class right it's a just a keyword calculator calculator is nothing but class name okay so what is access modifier access modifier defines the class who can access this class suppose if i say public anyone can access anyone in the say uh, you can access this class from anywhere okay suppose if i say private and also i have option if i if i put private only limited or restricted users or restricted place i can use this class similarly if i use protected means still i can use this class use only on inheritance ashok i am completely new to these terms i don't understand all this it is completely fine okay i am not going to give a boredom lecture on all these things but still you know the high level but if any one of you uh, want to learn these things in depth ashok i am a kind of a student i want to learn everything in depth then only i can understand all this concept do one thing just simply if you are a ajst trainee uh, you should have access to the tracker the tracker will lead you to the detailed sessions of our apex classes or you can go to the google drive and you can check salesforce materials folders in salesforce material folder go to salesforce development development videos in development videos you can see the apex basics both english and tamil the content are available let's let me help you open english oops and apex basics if you look at the index file you have we have covered each and every topic in depth introduction to apex data type access modifiers interfaces everything you can find in depth each and everything every concept they have explained for one and a half hours not workshop people this is just a concept explanation itself and that has been taken by mr nagarajan so you can refer this material later uh, once you want to learn in depth on this apex but as of now let's understand public and there is a one more thing is available called global 
So what is this public private protected global this and all? Nothing but an access modifier. This defines a class who can access and from where they can access. So that's it, okay? So as of now, just understand this public is nothing but access modifier that decides who can access and from where can access. Second thing, this class, right? This is a technical term. It's a keyword, just like how we see in teacher, the same way class is also a keyword. If I remove class, this is meaningless. What you are actually created, what you have created is nothing but Apex class. So that's why name like this. And what you have given here, right? This is a class name. This is a user defined. User defined. User defined in the sense, I'm a user, right? I'm defining this. The guys once who join please put yourself on mute whenever you need to talk please unmute and speak okay right, right. so user define <clears throat> instead of calculator ashok if i use something else will this work yes even if you use some random name right it still it is going to work and it is going to save okay so to have a meaningful connection meaningful name i have given calculator and click on save whenever you uh, one thing you have to remember is whenever you make any changes in a class make sure you go to file and save or use the control plus yes option to save the record because if you don't look at the screen okay look at the screen in this screen, I'm just changing a value. The moment I make the changes, you see there is an asterisk is coming up here, right? So if you don't, uh, this is the one I'm talking about, this asterisk. So if you want to, okay. So if you are making any changes, you can see an asterisk symbol. So which means what? Whatever the changes you have done is add to save. If you go to file and click on save, or you just control S, whatever the changes you have done, that will become save. Right now I have a class in the name of this some random name, calculator. The moment I enter calculator, you see there is an asterisk symbol and I click on control S, which is saving this record. This is very important. Even if you are go a very big, big coder, most of the time people face difficulty just because they forgot to save the record. So what you have seen now, we have seen control plus yes to save the class. This is what we have seen now. So class name is a user defined one. You can use it anything and public is nothing but an access modified. This is what we have seen so far. And these two braces are my mandatory. Some of the people may ask, Ashok, why we need these braces? Why you have declared a class in this way? Please, people understand this is how it is defined. Okay. So, someone written an Apex class, someone engineered the Apex class, right? So, this is how they have uh, made. So, don't come and ask me, okay, instead of this curly braces, if I use this, will this work? Or if I use this, will this work? It won't work. If you ask why it won't work, because it is designed in that way. Okay, well, I'll be create paneer because such silly questions have been asked, but no, no worries about those silly questions. You keep ask. Okay. Uh, there is nothing wrong in asking the questions. Nobody is going to judge you. So I have created the class. Okay, why did you create the class? Because I want to have the script inside my class so that. Whenever I uh, open anonymous, I mean, uh, whenever I open my class, my all the scripts are going to be there. So what I'm going to do, simply copy this and I paste this. Okay. If you look at here, uh, you see some gap is there and uh, it's not aligned properly, right? If you want to align the code properly, control A, this will select all. Control A is nothing but select all. Shift plus tab. The moment you click on Shift plus tab, see what is happening. I repeat. Control A, Shift plus tab. This will help you to align the script. 
So there is a one more learning here. Control plus A to select all. And once that done is shift plus tab will help you to align the script. Okay. Well, cool. Okay, Ashok, I have done this, but what is this? There is an exclamatory mark. I see there is a mark. Why this mark is coming up? What, what went wrong? Okay. So the thing is, so somebody is just playing. Guys, don't play around here. Okay. So here, you look at the screen below. Don't worry, pitching. If you look at my screen here you see there are problems this tells something is wrong going on with your apex class which is not an expected one it has so many values okay okay ashok uh, if i use my script like this will this work uh, no it won't work in that way because if you have a class you also need a method or a function and within the function only, you can keep your script. So let me remove this and I'm going to create a method. Okay, how to define a method? Again, there is an access modifier. And I use a return type. Here I'm using the return type called void, but I tell you what is void. And I define some uh, name. Addition then a bracket, then a curly brace. Okay, what is this, Ashok? This is nothing but method. Okay, again, what is this? This is nothing but annotation or comment. Uh, if you, anything which is uh, written with double slash, okay, double backslash, they are not, uh, the compiler is not going to consider that as a script which means you can still do like this. This will act, uh, this is not going to work as a script. This is going to be a, just an annotation or comments. If you want to add any comment, you can use double slash. So let me add this as well as a learning. Use double slash to add comments. Okay. Okay, Ashok. I have added a comment called method. Anyway, you said it is not going to uh, compile. But what is this? Again, public is an access modifier. Void is a return type. I will explain what is a return type. Addition is nothing but a method name. Just like how you can give a random name here, the same way you can give any random name here because this is a user-defined one. So let me use this one. Let's put it here. public void. I will uh, align this and format this document later for your purpose. Don't worry. Again, public, you are already aware it is an access modifier. Void is a return. Guys, please put yourself on mute. Nivas. Void is a return type. And uh, here, Addition is nothing but a method name. Method name or function name, whatever it is. Okay, let's go back to this script. Okay, what is this written type, Basho? If your script is going to return anything, to return to me or written to the uh, one who started this process, anything it is going to return, then uh, that is what we call it as written type. Let's take an example. You are going for an ATM. Okay, you're going for an ATM, you're entering your pin. Suppose you're giving an input, uh, your pin is 12345. Okay, 1234, four digit pin. La. So your pin is 1234, but instead of 1234, you gave uh, 1235. What it will throw? What it will say? Incorrect pin. Incorrect pin. Incorrect pin. Incorrect pin. In, invalid pin or incorrect, incorrect. pin. Correct. So 
what is that incorrect pin maybe uh, let me ask from the programmer point of view what is that incorrect pin error message yes error message like a validation error message okay error message what else guys anything validation 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 good anything else what do you see there comparing the values yeah after comparing the values what is happening comparing comparing the comparing response output return output. message print okay here's the term see uh, somebody told error message right that is not actually an error message if you are a programmer or a developer now indra mudal you are all developers like that hereafter you are all developers assume you are developer and please believe you are all developers error message is nothing but what we have seen here in the problems right suppose if i don't have a statement any written statement okay still it is going to consider as a constructor let me remove this let me see is there any problem if i try to save this so what you are seeing here this is what a kind of uh, a message a problem message or error message or when i try to execute the reserve keyword it shows some error message but in atm you are getting a output called invalid pin right this invalid pin is nothing but what it is an output right at the end of the day you are giving an input you are giving an input of your uh, what is that uh, pin you are giving a pin it compare the values and it return a output says that it is an invalid pin so here assume that your atm is using an apex class we are going to create an atm by using apex class assume that the atm is using apex class here your apex class has returned yeah output says that invalid pin and again from the programming perspective what is this guys invalid pin what do you think invalid pin what data type it is string string, string. so yeah. your atm has returned something the return is it has returned something and it has returned in the form of string suppose uh, you are a uh, you are clicking you are ent you are giving a correct pin okay and the once it is entered there is a option called balance check if you click on balance check what is the output you will get integer integer number integer maybe right like this you are you will be getting so it is nothing but what you are getting an output which means your atm is returning something but it is returning in the form of what an integer In the same way if you look at the function right uh, the function what what are the function that you think uh, your atm has done here it receives the input from the user it compare the pin okay after that after it did all the process it is going to return something says that either invalid pin or your password is accepted or uh, it is going to return some integer value of your balance In the same way the, those functionalities uh, nothing but it is being done by the method suppose if you, if i want to return some string i can write string here if i want to return some integer i can write integer here i'm going to do all my computations within the method and this decides what is the output goes out from the method so to start with i'm going to use void void is nothing but no return type it is not at the end of the day what is void guys like if you if you google sorry if you go on uh, google void meaning no void means nothing no right so void means nothing which means my, here i have written a method in this method i'm not going to return anything so here void is a return type it is not it is not going to return anything okay all right so now ashok you have a class and you have a 
and you have a, a method. Now, what we are going to do, I have my script. I'm declaring integer y, z, and system dot output. Let me you copy this and put it here. So my script become, uh, my, my script is not aligned properly. Could you please help me how to align this? Anyone? Plus plus control A. Control A. Control A. Control A. Plus tab. Shift tab. That's it. And again, I see there is an asterisk here. What it means? Save. You have to save it. Control plus save. Okay. Shortcut to save. Control A. Control A. Control A. That's it. All right. So here comes the complete class. You see, I have a class and I have a method. Within the method, whatever I, I want to process, it is available here. Okay. All right. But here I'm executing my uh, script like this. I can just simply select my value and I can click on execute, right? The script is going to work. But here, look at here. How do I execute this class? And similarly, like this, there are n number of class going to be available in my developer console. How do I tell my compiler, hey, I have a class and I have a method. Please compile this and give me an output. So here comes. So compiler at the end of the day, that is also a mission, right? I have to tell my compiler, says that, that is a class called calculator. Okay. And, and, and I have to tell my compiler that uh, hereafter, every time I don't want to use the name calculator, calculator, I'm going to say my compiler, say CL. Hereafter, calculator is defined as CL. And I'm going to create a new instance here, new calculator. Why we have to do like this, Ashok, instead of you can call the calculator directly. Yes, you can still do, but learn this new stuff. So instead of using the calculator name, okay, I'm creating a, a instance here. So here comes the new learning. Creating an instance for a class. You can call this instance or you can call this object. There are uh, different terms. Let's use this term called instance. Okay, I have created an instance. Okay, what's next? So hereafter, the CL represents what? My class calculator. So wherever I say CL, which is nothing but my class. So I want to call my method. What I'm going to do, I'm using my class. The class is nothing but CL because I have defined a CL as my class and I'm using dot operator. I'm, I'm using dot operator and I copy the method name addition. Please note, I have copied along with the parenthesis and semicolon. So these two lines going to help me to create, uh, to execute this class. I click on I select log and execute. So what will happen if I execute this? My compiler first go and check, is there any class which is defined as calculator? It will check, yes, there is a class which is defined. Then it will go to the class and check whether there is a method called addition. Yes, it will check there is a method. Once the compiler reaches here, it will execute whatever available within the method. So let me execute this. Click on debug. It says sum of x plus y is 30. This debug is nothing but the debug statement I have added here. This is how you can create a class. Okay, you can create a class method. And this is how you can simply call the uh, method and you can execute your script within the method okay well so those who don't have any question i'm going to post this in our whatsapp group you can give this a try let me just try
you please try this and uh, put it in the chat that you have completed if anybody ashok i still i don't understand what you have done you can raise your hand and we can clarify your queries one by one if there is a, if there is more people maybe i can check suganya and uh, selvaguru join today i can create a room and we will ask them to explain you one by one anybody have any questions if you have any questions please raise your hand if nobody have any questions please I have do question. guys if you have any questions please first raise your hand so that i will uh, i will come to know how many of you how many of you having uh, doubts so that accordingly i can create a breakout room and i can ask the team to assist you so far i see only vishak pavitra vignesh and pushkaraj those don't have any questions you can simply open uh, your developer console you see my screen please start create a class and create a method and uh, execute this okay let me check uh, whether suhanya and uh, selvaguru join today i think suhanya you there hi suhanya hi ashok Okay. Hi, Sello Guru. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Okay, hi, Sello Guru. Yeah. Okay, let me put you as a host and co-host. I'm not able to put you as a co-host. Why? Okay. Let me check options for breakout room. Okay, I think uh, Sugani. <laughs> so, I think I have added you as a instead of co-host. I added you as a host. Please add me as a host. Okay, Sugani. Sure. So, okay. You can check my name, and uh, that is a dot would be there. You can select and uh, give, give me host control. Okay, I'm the host now. Thank you. <laughs> so, Suhanya, co-host. Guys, who are having a questions? Please raise your hand, and I'm going to create a breakout room. There, you can ask your queries. Include co-host when I sign, assign automatically, assign manually. Okay, let me check who and all having a questions first of all vishak pavitra chandrasekhar okay yeah, i'm putting in uh, suhanya in room 1 and i'm assigning selva guru in the room 2 okay and uh, let me put vishak vishak vitra chandrasekhar vitra chandrasekhar vigneshwara Pushkaraj Kulkarni. Who are having questions? Please raise your hand. I'm just going to assign you all in a room where you can find Sudhanya and Selva Guru. They will clarify your queries then and there. Ramya, Ananta Kumari. Ananta Kumari. Okay. Okay, guys. I have created two rooms and. Uh, you can join the room okay so you should have received an invite right unassigned okay anant kumari selva guru anant kumari you, you haven't joined please join the room room okay runsi vishal shalini okay 
Okay, in the meantime, here, uh, people in the main room, let me uh, clarify your queries. Anantakumari, I have added you in the room. Please accept it. Uh, which, uh, where is the link, uh, Ashwin? The, the John, no, no, the, the... Uh, I have added you uh, in the room. So, Uma Shankar, Runsi, Shalini, uh, you can stay here so that I can clarify queries. So, let's go one by one. Uma Shankar ji, Uma Shankar ji, you can uh, unmute and speak. Am I audible? Uma Shankar. Runsi Vishal. Um, bro. Runsi, uh, do you have any question? Uh, Runsi Vishal. Vishal. Runsi, sorry. Uh, uh, yes, Runsi Vishal. Uh, any question? And the last level and then the apex for the calculator C L have to put it in. So that then in a save open from Maringla. Which one? This one? Ah, uh, this one. Ah, uh, you don't need to save this. This is execute. Ah, uh, this is how we executed our script previously, right? You have this script. Okay. The day one, this is what we have seen. Ah, uh, yes. You will be simply executing this, right? Uh, yes. So at the end of the day, what is needed, you want to execute the script. That is what our ultimate aim. But right now your script is available in the class. So what you have to do, you have to call the class and call the method. So I'm just calling the class and method and I'm executing here. Okay. 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 Huh. okay. You can lower the hand. Huh, okay. okay. Next. Uma Shankar. Uma Shankar ji. Uma Shankar, you can unmute and speak. Okay, Shalini Gracie. Yes, uh, yes. hello. Yes, yes. Shalini. Uh, that, uh, creating an instance for class in Sunimala, are you going to Yes, sorry to interrupt at this time. Yeah, Ashoka, I am not host, it seems that uh, the person is not able to share the screen. Okay. Person. No one can share this. Now, please try, uh, Salur. I have given access. Now, please try. Just a moment, Sharni. Let me check what is happening in the rooms. Okay, you can come and join there. I, I'll join to the breakout room, okay? Okay, not join. Okay, uh, let me join the breakout room to and check. Sorry, guys, I was on mute. So, guys, uh, Sharini, your question is why we are doing this? Yes. See, the your intention is to run the script. This is what our uh, prime target. Correct? Yeah, yeah. So, previously, you are having this script in anonymous window. Previously, okay. this is the script was in the anonymous. Guys, I'm not going to repeat this. If anybody having the same question, please listen this carefully. Previously, we were having the script and we execute this. And the, uh, whatever the script you have written, written in here, it is going to execute. But now, my intention is I want to save my script. So I am I'm going for a class. Okay. Because then so, only I can... Uh, in Apex, uh, the, I mean, anonymous window, we can't save the code, right? Hmm, you cannot save, correct. Okay, so to uh, get the output, we have to do it in the file uh, thing. If you want to save the code, you can okay. save the code only in class. That's okay. why we have given all the value in this inside the class. Again, 
if everything goes inside the class what will happen uh, i cannot execute that right if i want to execute this value i have to create like this class name and instance instead of using class name i'm using an instance then instance dot addition because uh, my script is in this method i have to put the instant dot addition this is a uh, what to say this is a procedure if you want to call a method within the class this is how you can do class okay. name and you have to create an instance yes. like this so this instance is we can name it uh, like, like our choice that is our choice yes, right you can okay. name like anything okay okay so how to get the output in that class after saving same way you can if you want to get output how okay. you will get output in the anonymous window by using okay. debug statement only we yeah. do right yeah the same way we have to do this okay is that okay, clear thank you. yeah yeah got got it okay let me check if there are more people having questions so that i can assign you to the room 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 take out rooms just a moment guys how to assign people unassigned people so who else have questions madhi vadani madhi vadani madhi vadani i am adding you to the room two please clarify queries sandeep kumar pradi sandeep kumar ashok sandeep i'm going to assign you to the room two please clarify your queries okay sir sundar yes sundar yes just a moment i'm going to assign you sundar i'm going to assign you to the room number 1 and uh, okay we have munishwaran nityashree and balaji let me clarify your queries guys okay sundar i have assigned you in the room please join the room sundar okay munishwaran uh, bro ena uh, doubt appadina ipa the public void in, in uh, sorry na late or or 30 minutes kalichu na join pannen munadi sonningala na theriyala என்ன <laughs> 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 Okay, if i write right, like this right. then it is called return so here i am not returning anything i am just debugging this is okay, not okay, output okay. okay the system dot debug guys please understand this is not an output this is just a debug statement that helps us to check in the flow of uh, execution what is going on anyway i will help you with understand on uh, return type of integer and uh, string and all and anyway, a good question this is not a return type cheri ஆ ஓகே ப்ரோ थैंक्स ப்ரோ ஓகே ஏனா எனக்கு மெயினாவே எப்பயுமே இந்த மாதிரி விஷயத்துல தான் டவுட் ஏனா சில இடத்துல வந்து பப்ளிக் வாய்ட் இந்த மாதிரி நிறைய வந்து போடுவாங்க ஓன்ல ஒரு இடத்துல அது அது மட்டும் கொஞ்சம் டவுட் ஓகே இப்ப கிளியர் ஆயிடுச்சு ஓகே थैंक यू சித்ரா டிஆர் சித்ரா தீப லட்சுமி deepa lakshmi v yes uh, ashok i yes. have a doubt here this calculator class name we cannot use it again right whenever we I mean, use a class name whenever we use a class name same class name we cannot use it again right that's okay. what is it it should be a unique mm -hmm. name every time yeah if i if you try to use the same name ha it throws an error it is already taken ha so that is unclear this instance when we are creating we are giving a name right that's it. this mm. example mm. so can we use this name when i when i execute a next a different class can i use the same instance name or ah, that, that you can use name? because by the time uh, mm -hmm. the class name would be different right so you can still use yes so i can use it okay correct okay thank okay. you thank you shrav nagar uh, yes sir uh, can you, you have any 
Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, like uh, when we are executing this thing, hmm. uh, this calculator class, uh, we are not getting any debug output like the one that we are getting when we are executing this method. Here we are not putting any debug. Okay, but here we have put the debug. Yeah. Debug is something you can put anywhere you want. Okay, but it is not right. mandatory that you have to put here, you have to put there, because the uh, name itself defines it. We are using this statement just to debug what is going on. That's it. This is not an output window. Okay, this is a debug statement that help us to understand uh, whether it is uh, working fine or not. Uh, but in the log, it is not showing any debug. It is showing. See, I'm executing this. go to my log here it is and check the debug you see the debug is there you see my screen yes mm, it is there you are saying it is not coming for you have you tried it hello yeah i tried it actually it's not mm. For me. Check whether you have put the debug so that uh, you can see whether it is coming for you or not. Okay, I still see there are people asking, raising hand for queries. Let me check the breakout room whether the room is already filled or uh, they, we are good to add the members. Ashok, yeah. uh, Hello. Ashok, only four members are there and I finished all four of them. I came back to the main session. If you want, you can assign me. Okay, in the you 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 Ashok. were in the room one, uh, Suhanya. Yes, yes, I were in the room one and only four people were there and they all done. Okay, let me add uh, two more. Ashok. There are people, uh, I, I see there are six people uh, raise their hand. So okay. let me add them in the room one. You can join the room one again. Okay, okay, sure. So, okay, who are uh, Chitra Srinivasan Yen? I'm going to add you in the room one. Srinivasan Yen. Srinivasan Yen. I'm not able to find the name. Okay. Room one, Aradhana SP, Aradhana SP. I'm going to add you in the room one. Then Dawood Ashik, Dawood Ashik. I'm going to guys. I'm go, I'm adding you all in the room. Please join the room. Okay, Dawood Ashik. I'm going to add in the room number two. And Nitya Sri. I'm going to add in the room number one, Nithya stream. Hello. Guys, whoever want to ask, if you have any question, raise your hand. I will go one by one. And if more people are uh, raising hand, I'm going to add you in the rooms so you can get a clarification. Divya Grande, Divya. Hello. Divya, I'm going to add in the room number two. Hello. Raghavendra, please raise your hand, Raghavendra, if you're having ah, any questions. If you want, to, I can assist the people. Okay, okay, Raghavendra. Thank you. I got it, so, sir. Thank you. Okay, Raghavendra, maybe uh, I think uh, we are good for now, but uh, I'm sorry, I didn't check your okay, chat. Okay, okay. Tomorrow okay, onwards, okay. I can also create uh, rooms separately. Okay, okay, okay. Thank okay. You. Purushottaman. Purushottaman, I'm going to add you in the room number two. Asha Ji, I'm going to add you in the room number one. Okay, we have Swarnalata. Swarnalata. Yes, Swarnalata, you can unmute and speak. Swarnalata. Hello, sir. Yes, Swarnalata. Sir, I have a call in the call. I have a calculator CL equal to new calculator. I have a call in the call. Okay. In a new Yedika Hanks and we use Pondro, Adiana Puria Lanks. Okay. Again, uh, there are a few things that uh, the sales force is defining. Either one the Pathina, it is a procedure. Ipudidam, Pananagradam procedure. Other here, uh, technical as well, here, compiler than at the end of the day, compiler is doing, going to execute this, right? Okay, I'm telling my compiler says that calculator. CL. CL is nothing but CL in Rumudal Enana. It is a new calculator. Whatever mm -hmm. it is available here, 
hereafter i am going to call this with this nickname kitta that you know nam veetla na they are giving a nickname for us right if i am my name is ashok raj they call me aj so okay, okay. if they call me aj also na thirubi papa if they call me ashok raj also i am going to turn and ask them in the same way நம்ம இங்க என்ன ஒரு நேமிங் செரிமொனி தான் நம்ம பண்றோம் இன்று முதல் நீ சி எல் என்று அழைக்கப்படுவாய் அப்படின்னு சொல்றோம் call the method like this okay okay if in cla thirumbi namba use pannum bodhu and the new theva illa ipo vandu pudusa namba use pannum bodhu mattum dhaan namba new use pannuvom correct correct okay sir thank you sir okay. thank you mani rajan ke hello yes mani rajan uh, sir ipo enak enna na ipo ad execute aaga maatekidhu sir ipo idhe maari dhaan naanu potruken but we'll uh, you can share your screen we'll see okay so guys if anybody ha- still have any queries raise your hand if i am able to answer i can answer or if more people raising hand i can assign you in a breakout room we have suhanya and selva guru they will assist you yes mani rajan hold on first of all uh, check on your left side la paarenga you see the asterisk symbol still irukke save panningla unga method class am first ah execute panni paaka okay okay this what this what i have told right whenever you create a class edit a class you must save the class only if you save the class it will work okay thank you so okay thank you so we'll see stop participants so today it's almost 9:53 so uma shankar ji any questions uma shankar i don't hear from you all that i see and you anybody have any questions yeah ashok i have a small query uh, yes yes uma actually shankar. i actually i uh, joined uh, 10 minutes late so uh, declaring that the class uh, i i just i missed it so can i just uh, uh, okay yes i'm really sorry that we are almost in the end of the session uh, let me clarify the other queries since you are asking right from the beginning right uh, i no actually i i actually uh, i actually would want that particular thing only after that i, I understood how it is okay you want to know just uh, how to create a class that's it yeah how to create a class and uh, why the public is coming that's it i missed that part okay so to create a class you go to new and uh, click on apex class okay yeah. so it will ask you to enter the name i have entered calculator and i have created this that's it and why it is public public is nothing but an access modifier it defines any from anywhere i can access this class look at here here i have a apex code which is in anonymous window which is in a separate entity here the class is in a separate entity but still i am able to uh, call my anonymous code from i mean call the class from my anonymous code right so this defines the public so you can call the class from anywhere so access modifier you can name it as access mod but if you want to learn deep dive about this right you can simply put it in google like what are access modifier what are all the different access modifiers available okay because since it is a workshop thing we we spend more time in practice rather than just going on with the theories so okay so inside a class if you want to uh, if you want to uh, execute uh, any script we have to call by method mm correct, correct. yeah okay. correct so that understood okay let me just join other rooms and see whether it is still going on or we have to ask them to leave நினைக்கிறேன் 
ஆ ஓகே ப்ரோ Okay, I think uh, the discussion is still going on in the breakout rooms. Let me check. Is there anyone still have any question? Pushkaraj Kulkarni. Yes, Pushkaraj. Yes, uh, I have a doubt. Mm -hmm. uh, is it important what type of bracket we are declaring? We are talking about this one. Like, Highlighting in green. Yeah. Uh, because uh, in Apex code window, uh, we have given the round bracket uh, uh, side to the calculator and while writing the code in the class, uh, we declared it in, you know, uh, the different style of bracket. So I just want to know that addition, are, for addition, we are the, using the round bracket. Uh, yes. This is a method. For yeah. method, you have to use these parentheses. For class, you have to use curly braces. And similarly, uh, you, you are using, okay, again, what is this curly braces, Ashok? Why we are using curly braces? This curly braces defines the scope, scope of the method and scope of the calc, uh, class to which the calculator exists, to which the method will exist. Suppose if I'm entering anything outside the scope of this braces, right? If I call this method, whatever I have entered here, this is won't work. Let me show you a demo here. Look at here. This is that's a good question. So I'm giving a, a system.debug and here I'm writing like this. Out of scope. And I anyway, it is not allowing me to say. Let me see whether I'm able to write a system debug. Okay, anyway, it is not allowing me to add a system debug itself here. It's, it throws some error. Okay. Suppose if I define a value here, integer. Let me define a value called integer a equal to 10. Okay. okay. The a is outside the scope, which means yeah. I have a method which is only till here. It is outside the scope. Even if I execute this, this line number 10 is not going to affect anything because it is anyway outside the scope. When, yeah. Whenever I have execute this two, I'm executing only cl.addition, only this will execute. The compiler only execute this. The compiler won't execute this. Yeah. So to define the scope, I'm using curly braces. Just like the if else condition we use in the formula mm -hmm. formula type, right? Correct, Correct. Yeah. exactly. But uh, I have another question. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't do understand the meaning of the curly braces. I just want to know mm -hmm. that while uh, writing the same thing in the enter apex code, we have used the round bracket near calculator only, like uh, which one? Uh, in this the one. Uh, yeah, yeah, this one because okay. uh, See, if again, we are defining the calculator. Is, uh, don't worry about the braces. That is what actually I have told in the beginning of the class. Don't worry about the braces. Okay. If if something is given, they have given with a meaningful. That's it. Uh, instead of this, Ashok, if I use this, will this work? No, it won't work. So why I have to use this? Yes, they have defined like this as a rules and regulation. There are some rules and regulations they have written while writing the script, right? So if I have to define a class, I have to define like this. If I am going to define a new instance, yes, this is how I have to do. If I'm going to mention the scope, I have to use curly braces. That's it. So basically, Don't, in simple uh, terms, if you have to define any method, uh, you use the round brackets. And if you want correct. to define any scope, you use the curly brackets. Correct. Correct. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I think uh, we're almost in the end of the session. So I'm going to assign. At, uh, let me, in the meantime, check out the breakout rooms. So let me.
close all the rooms. I think I have closed all the room. Is everyone joined from backup rooms? Let me check. Okay. So guys, here comes the assignment question. The assignment is simple. Okay, before we go with the assignment, let me just help you with uh, a quick demo of this one so that you can try your own. Here, uh, you see my screen. I'm not written anything, right? Suppose if I want to return anything, uh, suppose I want to return the value of z. What is the value of z? Is that an integer or a string? What is the value of in integer? Integer. 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 So, whatever the value you are going to return you have to enter that data type and here return z okay okay ashok where it is going to return it is going to return to line number two because from line number two only i'm calling this particular class okay so in the line number two it is going to return me the value Okay, let's see what is happening. Execute. It's still working. Okay, it's still working. And look at the log here. They have allocated the bytes. For every variable you create, it allocates some memory space at the back end, then only it process. All these processes are happening here. Okay, and anonymous videos happen. But Ashok, you have executed something and it says it returned, but I don't see any output here because I didn't capture the output. You see, all that I'm just returning. What will happen once I execute this, the method will execute. It will return the value of wizard, but somewhere I have to capture the value. So how to capture the value? This line, right, cl.addition. This is the line, execute this method and also capture the output. So what I'm going to do to capture the output. So what is the output it is going to return, guys? Any idea? What is the data type it is returning? Integer. 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 Right. Then I have to capture whatever it is written in the same data type. Let me. I am creating a value called output that is also an integer i'm going to capture the value this is going to execute after it execute this is going to return me some integer i'm capturing that integer in output here i'm put like a system dot debug output is Let me execute this. Now check the debug only. You see the output. So this is how you can return a value. All that previously we use, we are using void. Now we are using return. And the moment it is returned, previously I have my addition. Okay, just cl dot addition. Now, whatever it is returning, I'm capturing in a, a container, nothing but the same integer container, and I'm trying to debug this. Okay, well, so this is a simple way of uh, returning an uh, uh, integer. I'm also going to give you an assignment to return a string and try out different formula. I will keep post the assignments in the WhatsApp group. Okay, so and also I share this screenshot here you please try this one guys try this how to return an integer if you find any difficulty post it in the groups and you can get a support from your uh, fellow mates and if you have any questions post it in the group and get a support so tomorrow same time uh, we'll be joining and first we'll clarify all your queries then we go with the next assignment okay all right so thank you all for joining today's session uh, try out these two things and I, I keep share 
uh, the assignments in the document as well as in the WhatsApp group. Give a try. And if you have any questions, post it there. All right. So before we wind up, anybody have any questions with this or with the earlier one, which we have just discussed? No. All right. So thank you. Thank you, uh, Sukanya. Thank you, Selva Guru, for joining and supporting. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome. Yeah. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, thank you. Those, those who don't have any questions, feel free thank to you. drop off. If anybody has still question, please stay back and clarify. I can stay for another two minutes and clarify. Please. Hello, sir. Yes, Sandeep. Uh, sir, uh, please explain it once. Uh, what is written and uh, what is this output? Okay, Sandeep. Uh, okay, before uh, instead of explaining the things, have you uh, understand what is void first of all? Yes, yes. Okay, okay. Return in the sense, I want to return something. I have uh, chosen that uh, ATM uh, thing, right? Uh, what is the purpose of using ATM and how whenever you are in, giving an input, it throws an output, either invalid pin or if I click on balance record, right? If I click balance, it is going to return some integer. The same way, my functionality here, it is going to return an output. If it is going to return a string, this will return a string. I have to return like string. Suppose if it is going to return just an integer, I put like integer and I have to add a return statement here. If I put return, this is going to return this value. See, at the end of the day, previously, I don't have this one, right? Simply executing this, going to execute the set of script here. But here, since it is returning something, I'm going to capture the value here by using the same return type. And that's, I have put it in the debug statement and that is getting as an output. At the end of the day, if you want to return something, you have to mention here, this is called a return type. If you don't want to return anything, you can simply keep void, okay? So this is only the data type, which type, which type of value it is going to return, right? Correct. Okay, so uh, like, uh, Whenever we are uh, executing any code, uh, we are going for Apex uh, anonymous window. Same, mm -hmm. we have we are going to uh, return in Apex in anonymous window Correct. only. Correct. Thank you. All right. So thanks everyone. I'll be sharing the assignments in the WhatsApp group as well as I will share the assignments in the document. Try out those assignment tomorrow. First thing, we'll check out your assignment, then we move with a new concept. Good night, everyone. Bye-bye. Yes, good, good night. Thank you. Good night. If you are interested to learn Salesforce, visit AJ Skill Development website. There you can find our course curriculum and you can come to know about the list of courses we are offering. We are offering Salesforce Administrator and Salesforce development courses. To know about us and the team, you can visit our About Us section. This is an organization we are doing at Salesforce training from 2018, and we have trained out and guided 2000 plus candidates so far. And if you also want to know about our placement assistance, visit our placement assistance section where you can find the list of people and the category. You can see the list of people who got uh, trained and placed from our site. You can also visit their LinkedIn pages to get to know about our trainee and also the feedback from the relevant trainees, okay? And also, if you want to do the course inquiry, click on contact us, you will see the form. You can fill the form and submit the inquiry. Our team will get back to us. Thank you.